Hello and welcome to the University of Utah Chemistry Labs. We want you to have an enjoyable and more importantly safe learning experience here in the Chemistry Labs. This video outlines some of the basic safety rules and guidelines that will help you and those around you be safe. Let's talk about being prepared for the day's lab work. Have an understanding of the experiment and the hazards that may be present with your experiment before you come to lab. Safety data sheets can help you understand the hazards that may be present with the chemicals you're using. If you don't know where the safety data sheets are, ask your TA and they'll show you. Bring only what you need for the experiment into lab. Keep your backpack in a designated area. Know the location of the safety equipment, such as safety shower, the eye wash, spill kit, and first aid kit, and make sure you know how to use them. If you don't know the location, make sure you find out. Remember, if you don't know something, don't hesitate to ask. There's no such thing as stupid questions. Go to your TA or instructor with any questions, because we love you. Next, we're going to discuss PPE work practices. Remember, never enter or work in a lab unless your TA is present. The basic minimum personal protective equipment required when working in a lab is long pants that extend to the ankles, closed toed shoes that cover the entire foot, 100% cotton lab coat, and the proper safety glasses or goggles. Safety glasses are a minimum required protection, but safety goggles provide protection against splashes. And remember, always use gloves that are appropriate to handle the materials used in the experiment. Natural clothing fiber, like cotton or wool, is best to wear when working around flammable materials and open flames. Remember to pull your hair back. Don't wear any lanyards, loose clothing, or jewelry. Remember, no cell phones. They can be a distraction. LOL. Okay. Safety comes first. Find a secure location to store cell phones, earbuds, and other electronic equipment when working in the lab. And remember, no food, drink, or gum, including water bottles, when working in the lab. Always remove gloves before touching doorknobs, elevator buttons, drinking fountains, etc. Also, do not handle personal items such as calculators, pens, pencils, lab manuals, etc. with your gloves on. To remove your gloves properly, take your right hand and grab your left palm, making sure you're not touching the outside of the glove. Pull it off and use your clean finger to put underneath the right glove, making sure never to touch the outside. Remember, it's important to wash your hands at the end of every lab session before leaving the lab. Inspect all lab equipment prior to use. Report any damage to your TA and don't use any damaged equipment or broken glassware. Follow all written procedures. Remember to discuss any procedural modifications with your TA. Next, we'll cover hazardous materials management. Make sure you dispose of unwanted hazardous materials in appropriately labeled containers. Make sure to read your labels carefully and don't mix incompatible materials. Remember, no chemicals down the drain. Also, no chemicals or materials get removed from the lab. Make sure that you're looking out for distractions or other things that could take your focus away from your work. Please check your phone at the door and keep it in your backpack on silent. Never interrupt someone else who's conducting an experiment. Remember to get adequate rest. Lab sessions can run a long time, so make sure you eat and hydrate before your session. Remember that when you're in the lab, safety comes first. Now we're gonna talk about emergency procedures. In the event of an emergency, immediately alert your TA, or if your TA is not readily available, alert a stockroom staff member. In the event of a chemical spill, let your TA know, or if your TA is not available, please alert a stockroom staff member. In the event that you spill chemicals on yourself, immediately let your TA know or have someone else alert your TA 
and then you need to flush the area immediately with large amounts of water. This is after removing any contaminated clothing. Clothing serves to trap the chemicals against your skin and can cause further damage. What you use to actually rinse the affected area may depend on the degree and magnitude of the spill. For things where you spill something on your arm, you might just want to rinse it off in the sink. For larger spills on the torso, you're going to want to remove affected clothing and get under the safety shower as quickly and effectively as possible. If you spill something in your eyes, you're going to want to go to the eye wash station. Your partner may need to help you get there since you won't be able to see. And you'll need to, again, flush your eyes for at least 15 minutes and you may need to hold your eyes open to ensure proper flushing. After having rinsed the area, be sure to seek medical attention. The first time that you walk into a laboratory room, identify any emergency exits so that you know where to go in the event of an emergency. If there's a fire in the laboratory, and it's small enough to actually try to extinguish, so smaller than, say, a trash can, and you've been trained with how to use a fire extinguisher, grab that and you can try to extinguish the fire. However, if you feel uncomfortable doing so, if the fire is too large, you should immediately evacuate the building, making sure that you pull the fire alarm on the way out of the building. In the event that you yourself catch on fire, immediately remove any clothing that is on fire and get yourself to the safety shower and use that to extinguish the flames. If you're far away from the safety shower, it may be necessary to stop, drop, and roll where you are. In the event that an evacuation is necessary and it is safe to do so, turn off any chemical processes or equipment that you may have running, grab your personal items, and then immediately evacuate the building following your TA or instructor to your designated evacuation assembly point. Please remain with your TA at that time until you receive official instruction about what to do. All injuries should be reported to their TA immediately and you should seek medical attention. If while in the lab you start to feel unwell, dizzy, your eyes start watering, anything like that that could impair your ability to perform the lab, immediately stop what you're doing, let your TA know, and yeah, leave the lab area. And of course, it goes without saying, but if you ever have any questions about related to safety or what you should do in the event of a specific uh, evacuation procedure or scenario, make sure you ask your TA or your instructor. Your safety is our primary concern.